Good boy, buddy. Good boy, come here. Okay. Here's the part you usually don't like. Oh, that's it. Good boy. So, guys, normally you're used to the ice bath vlog, but we just got back from training in Las Vegas. And uh, needless to say, I was coaching all the Legends MMA fighters up there, so I didn't do that much training that I need an ice bath today. But I did let stinky little Mojo go running around and play in the dirt. And so this guy needed a bath. He doesn't really like the ice baths. So instead of the ice bath blog and change for change today, we have the Rottweiler bath blog. This is Mojo. Say hi, Mojo. Hi. We um, showed up to, uh, to the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas with a bunch of guys overweight, but that's where we wanted to be, most of them. Most of our guys cut five pounds a day of the fight, or excuse me, the day of the weigh-in. Um, all of them seemed to uh, do their cut pretty well, handled it well, some stronger than others. Um, Chris Brady, always a team leader, was was really pushing you know everybody during the weight cut, showing a positive attitude and letting everybody know that it was going to be fine. He was cutting as much weight as anybody, just about anybody. Um, but uh, so we all made weight, we all showed up ready to bang, and uh, you know in the fight game you win some, you lose some. And uh, of the of the guys from Legends who I've been training with, we brought five guys down there. We had three losses, one tie, and one amazing 14 second knockout by Alan Joban. Um, as far as the losses went, uh, Tommy Gavin came in and uh, was looking dominant on his feet with, with striking, but you know he's a wrestler and that's what he knows and that's what he reverts back to and started shooting. Uh, got himself caught in two pretty deep guillotines and he managed to fight out of but I think they sapped his strength a little bit. Finally, his opponent shot in, got the takedown, worked straight from strikes from mount, and got the TKO. Um, next, Takashi Munoz went in there and, and fought a, uh, a tough wrestler who hit him hard early and rocked him, and he looked like he was out of it the whole fight. Is you know he showed a ton of heart, sticking it out, you know, continuing to fight um, through some beautiful head kicks, um, and the striking looked beautiful. But after after getting rocked early, he didn't have enough. Um, late in the fight to, to come back and take it and drop the decision. And, uh, and Chris Brady went into a fight used to fighting three minute rounds and was only fighting two minute rounds against another hard nosed country boy. This time the kid is from Idaho, defends three belts, two Idaho belts, and, uh, and a title in Vegas. And, uh, you know, it was just another hard nosed motherfucker. And they met in the ring and went at it. And, Brady knocked him down with a head kick in the first round, almost finished the fight, almost knocked him out. He responded with an arm bar that almost broke Brady's arm. Brady wasn't going to tap, told him to take it home with him. And the kid tried to, and the time ran out. And uh, that was a round that, you know, could have gone either way. I haven't, I haven't re-watched the fights, but, you know, another, another close brawl and another, uh, another you know, tough defeat um, for Chris. But... Uh, you know, like I always say, you know, champions aren't champions because of the way they win. Champions are champions because of the way they come back from a loss. And uh, he's had a couple of them. And, you know, it's easy, easy to get down on yourself and for that to affect your image of yourself and accept, you know, and affect your vision of yourself as a champion when you drop a couple. But um, I know he's a champion. I believe he still believes he's a champion and I believe he has that potential. And... Uh, we're back on the grind, going at it again. Next, we had Alan Jovan making his MMA debut. And boy, a hell of a debut it was. Opened up with a hard inside leg kick that changed the uh, opponent's whole perspective on the fight. You could see the wind go out of his sails with that one kick, and he asked himself what the hell he got himself into. Alan followed up with two quick strikes. Kid was on his knees begging for mercy, and the ref gave it to him by calling Alan off for 14 seconds, really igniting the crowd. Um, we had another fighter, Rick Bourdain, who I had, had uh, a chance to work with fighting out of Riverside. And to tell you the truth, I didn't even get to see his fight. Um, 
running around cornering the other guys. But uh, in the final, Sean Bollinger stepped up and was fighting Couture, beating him on his feet. Um, his inexperience showed in his, you know, willingness to flop to his butt um, in the guard. And, uh, you know, this is uh, MMA. It's not jujitsu, Sean. But um, he capitalized with beautiful strikes on his feet, a beautiful lead left hook. It was finding its mark over and over again. And at the end of the second, when the bell rang, they had to wake Ryan Couture up. He refused to tap show in the heart of a warrior, but was asleep at the end of the second. The, uh, the ref gave him a minute to come to, regain himself, and come back in the third. And, and Sean's lack of cardio you know, reared its ugly head as he retreated for the third round and ended up you know, snatching a draw from the jaws of victory. People say, you know, he snatched victory from the jaws of defeat. Well, he managed to snatch a draw, a draw from the jaws of victory, unfortunately. But I think he learned something from the fight. I think he's going to come back and be more dedicated than ever to his training, to his cardio, to his conditioning. And uh, we all know who would have won that fight in the street, in the real world, when uh, somebody has to wake you up. That's not only have you won the fight, that's when you call your buddies to tell them to get a shovel and some lye powder and meet you in the desert. So... Ryan, part of a champion, class act, but uh, we all know what would have happened if there were no roughs there to save you in the second round. I'm Connor Hurricane Hewn. This is Rottweiler Bath Blog. I wish we were sponsored by Perfect Coat Black Pearl Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm about to lather this bad boy up, get them all cleaned up and, uh, and frothy. Frothy, is that a word? It's a word, but I think uh, lathered up. I don't know. It's getting a little weird. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Mojo, say goodbye. Rawr, rawr. Such is life, boys.